So our student ministry has been going over common Christian phrases that we don't really know what they actually mean. For instance, what it means to fear the Lord or here I raise my Ebenezer may mean. One of my favorite ones that we hit on was what it means that the Lamb was slain and the Lamb of God. Sacrificing is something that we're not really familiar with, but something that we are familiar with is the idea of payment and restitution. My wife and I, we just bought our first house together here in Cyprus. And while we live in the house and while we technically bought the house, the bank and I kind of own the house. And really, I'm going to be making payments to a bank for the next 30 years. It wouldn't make sense for the bank to say, you know what, Tommy, don't worry about paying your mortgage anymore. You are now no longer indebted to us for the next 30 years. You can just take your house and go. That wouldn't make sense. But in a similar way, that's what God did for us. When it comes to the Lamb of God and the Lamb being slain, that goes back to the Old Testament. Uh, we see it during Passover. Exodus 29 talks about um, lambs being slain in the temple daily for the atonement of our sins. Because we are indebted to Christ due to the sin that we have in our life, we had to make sacrifices for our sin. We had to make atonements. Something that we often forget is that the Lamb of God relates back to Jesus. And the Lamb being slain was Jesus' perfect atonement for us. While I'm paying a bank for the next 30 years money for the house that I just bought, God forgives us of the death that we deserve and sent His Son, Jesus, to die on the cross for us, who is the perfect Lamb, and He was the Lamb of God that was slain for us. What I would love to encourage you to do is don't let the weightiness of that saying um, go away. Understand that we may sing songs that talk about the Lamb of God and the Lamb being slain, but what we get to do instead is we get to rejoice. We get to rejoice because God sent His Son Jesus down to die for us. We no longer have to die and be separated from God but instead we get to be with God for eternity.